Today's episode of Lazy Gaming Guys is brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook download and 30-day free trial at www.audibletrial.com slash nerdupmedia. Over 150,000 titles to choose from for your iPhone, Android, Kindle, or MP3 player. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Lazy Gaming Guys So Bad It's Scary Halloween, where we are going to be under attack. Oh no, home is under attack. Yes, it's a homeland invasion. Homeland invasion? Uh, someone, oh, someone get me again! I'm itching to see some action. Hey, we're Border Patrol! <laughs> Let's get them yes. dirty! We gotta get them dirty Mexicans back on the other side of the border! Where belong? No, Jock, this is oh. Japan. Apparently, Japan has a lot of Brazilians. Gotta get them dirty Brazilians back on us alone! They took the jobs! Yes. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Equip the Energy. That looks like a crystal ball. Oh, use the goblet with a skull on it. The, the, uh, the, uh, the goblet. The, the, the disclaimer: We have the uh, we, uh, lazy gaming guys has no problem with Mexicans or any or any other Hispanic um na uh, Hispanic people. Uh, I can't think of the word I want to use. Thank you. Hispanics, yeah. Portuguese, or anybody. Right. We love everyone. We love everyone. Unless, except, except we. Unless you're a douchebag. We hate douchebags. We hate ourselves? Yes. It's, it's complicated that way. It's meta. We're meta. God, why do these guys look like knights? Like, freaking like, 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 uh, what's it called? It's okay. Nobunaga's army, Jack. Oh. That's it. No, Nobunaga's army. How are we gonna ever defeat the Devil King's army? Hey, they're kicking Protect your the they're kicking your doors ass. I know. You know what's sad about it? There are two doors. Nice. I had to protect two doors, but I didn't notice that in the first couple seconds of the second. I'm like, yeah, I'm fighting like wait a minute, are there two doors? How long do you have to protect them? I think there's no timer. I don't know. Usually there's no timer on these things. All you know is that you just have to kill until they stop. When when will I stop They don't stop bring a killing? timer until you get close to stopping. When will I have to stop killing, Wufei? Zero won't tell me anymore. Uh, I'm sorry. I can't help but break into Gundawing in this waltz. An enemy force is approaching. Keep wary, my lord. I almost yeah, broke into Gundawing in I almost started quoting Gundawing in this waltz last night at, uh, in my co uh, class. Where we were talking about how, you know, uh, history repeats itself, but I'm like, yes, the war, the three beats of war, peace, and revolution march on, much like an endless waltz. Oh, please don't. Please don't. <laughs> Why didn't you? <laughs> because Scott doesn't want to be, because Scott didn't want to give the false quote of him sounding deep. He's not deep, he's just quoting someone else who thought of how deep that was. Shut up! I'm still better than the person that just sits there and watch, said they watched Mulan because the girlfriend's Asian. What? <laughs> okay. Yeah, him and his girlfriend watched Mulan because she's Asian. That was his only reason for watching Mulan. Wow, that is way... That is that's, just, that, that's like uh, Chuck, that's like me having a black girlfriend and, we, and only watching Princess of the Frog with her. Or you having an Indian girlfriend and only watching... Um, and only watching Pocahontas, or someone having an Arab girlfriend and only watching, <laughs> and only watching Ag um, Aladdin. It's fucking horrible. That's no, that's worse than when otaku like wa like, like watch anime because their girlfriend's Japanese or something. Protect the game. Uh, like you know, like we got American otakus watch anime, or a Japanese or a Japanese person having an American girlfriend and watching cartoon, uh, watching you know like American cartoons. So what do you watching think? Disney, watching Frozen. You know, what do you think they promised these guys with the giant bombs on their back? Um, what's called? Uh, virgins? Uh, yes. <laughs> uh, yes, unlimited virgins. Unlimited? Unlimited virgins! Actually, the Japanese don't really- the Japanese don't really need more than the- they don't really need more because it's just for the honor of their country. Yes, you'll be honored by dying in the most unhonorable way. Yay! Finally, it's almost done. That gate's almost done. 
approaching. Yeah, dude. And K durability is like really low. My soul burns with rage. My soul burns with rage. Yes, just like this gate. Does it burn with the white hot intensity of a thousand suns? No, actually no, Scott. I think you should. I think you would agree with me. After he's finished doing this special, and he like puts his spears like back, like you know, like he, like he put, uh, uh, does that little twirly thing, puts spears back. There should be a boom, and then all the enemies around him that are still standing should be knocked back. It'd be kind of cool. Yeah, that does need that. That does need that. But yeah, this team needs a lot. It, uh, otherwise, it wouldn't be on so bad as scary Halloween. Yeah. No, the game wait is mediocre the and the voice acting is and the voice acting is subpar. Just wait until I get to One Chan Bara Bikini Samurai Squad next year. My Lord! My Lord! <laughs> <laughs> and now we have to wait for and now we have to wait for Yuki Wara to change his pants again. Oh man. But that it, wait, is that, is that all for the- Yes, that will be all for yeah, this part of- yeah. uh, uh, All for this part of It's So Bad It's Scary Halloween. We'll be back next time after Yuki Mora changes. I think this might have been our shortest episode ever. See you next time! Uh, thank you for watching Lazy Gaming, guys. This episode has been brought to you by Audible.com, where you can find Audible books for your MP3 players, Kindles, iPhones, iPods, whatever you got. So... You can find fine books like these. My recommendation for this month is Yamada Monogatari Demon Hunter. A wait, nice wait, wait, what? It's a nice uh, book set in feudal Japan where a guy slays demons for money. Oh. Huh. It's pretty cool. It's not, huh. it's not even remotely in English. Did you find that in the foreign section? No. I found it in the... Uh, I don't even remember. I got to it from another book's link, so... Oh. Okay, then I guess I'll tell mine. Mine is an old classic of a book which I like, which I love to read, and now I get to listen to it. It's 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea by Jules Verne. The story of a scientist who, who's looking for this crazy Nautilus monster, and then finds out it's not a monster. It's actually a ship piloted by Captain Nemo, and goes on fantastical underwater adventures, and gets to eat seafood all the time, which I would love to do. Nice. Everyone loves seafood. Unless they're allergic to it, those poor people. Yeah. Uh, and I guess I'll do mine. And if you'd like to, uh, if you'd like to see a 18-year-old girl try to uh, seduce her grandfather for some reason or another, you can watch The Old Man Likes My Cleavage. I think this. I think this book choice says a lot about Jock. <laughs> <clears throat> Hey, I'm just recommending it. I just saw Apparently, it. Jacques likes Jacques, you, to uh, Jacques, actually, you, that's your free, that was your free book. Jacques, li <laughs> Jacques likes to seduce old grandfathers with his cleavage. You heard it here, folks. <laughs> oh, God. This is the most a professional video. <laughs> but if you'd like to get your free trial of Audible.com, go to audible.com, uh, audibletrial.com, slash nerdupmedia to enjoy your free book and 30 day free trial thank now, you and have a nice night yay